Do you suffer from knee pain? Let's see how we can find the relief and prevent. Hello and welcome. This is Master Wu on behalf of TechOneWu.net. In this video, I would like to talk about some knee pain, injuries, how to treat and prevent, as well as how to practice your kick without putting too much pressure on your knee. As long as we participate in any kind of sports, the injuries, such as fracture, dislocation, sprains and strains, and ligament tears, such as ACL injury, could happen to anybody. And the pain comes on gradually over the years is inevitable. However, here's the good news. At least we can delay or reduce the most of the knee pain by doing proper stretching and strengthen training exercises. All right, then let's take a look at some of the exercises that can help reduce and prevent the knee pain. In either cases, whether you're looking for better treatments for the pain or injuries that you already have, or simply trying to have some idea of the prevention. The most important thing is you have to know what's causing your pain, and you have to understand types of the knee pain, so you can find the relief. If your knee pain is persist, and if you don't have accurate diagnosis for your pain, you should see a physician for professional treatment. Alright, then let's quickly take a look at a few common types of the knee pain. Iliotibial band syndrome. If the pain is between the hip and the outside of your knee, you may have iliotibial band syndrome. Among many causes of the pain other than one's natural physical condition or physical shape such as uneven leg length or both legs, tight or weak thigh muscle may cause the problem. Next type of the knee pain is known as runner's knee or chondromalacia and patellofemoral pain syndrome. If the pain is around the kneecap, you could have this runner's knee. For those who participate in sports that requires a lot of knee bending, or pressure to the kneecap could have this. Basically, repeated overuse of the knee may cause excessive stress and wear on the cartilage of the kneecap, making it difficult to move your knee. And if you don't go take care of this pain, it can lead to arthritis of the knee. I remember when I was a kid when my grandparents predicted the rain, I always wondered how. Now I know. Increased knee pain as the weather changes is one of the symptoms of the arthritic knee, as well as pain tends to be worse in the morning. For prevention and reduce of the pain that we discussed so far by doing stretching exercise that can improve the flexibility and stretching the quadriceps, hamstrings, and thigh muscles can help reduce and relieve the pain. Alright, now let's talk about how you can practice your kick safely and reduce the risk of an injury. When you perform your kick, especially air kick, which means without the kicking back or kicking pedal, you should never snap or lock in your knee for the most power. Always keep your knee soft and avoid repetitive of use of the knee. Especially when you practice demonstration kick or perform the inside of the pumse, we intend to pause the ichi kick after completion of the kick. For example, when you do round house kick, Instead of a snap to kick, pause, side kick as well. If you do this over the time, you might feel discomfort for your knee later on. Especially when you perform your nerechagi, I want you to be very careful. Never push your knee too far backward against hitting the target. I want you to make sure make it feel like you are just snapping, tapping from top to bottom. I've already explained it many times in previous tutorials, so I'm not going to go any further. However, I want you to remember, when you perform your kick, always stay inside of the full range of motion of the kick. I've learned all of this a long time ago when I was in college in sports physiology. However, I was much less care about it, because I was young. If you are young, however, I want you to keep in mind the lesson that you have learned today. When it comes to knee pain, the prevention is the best medicine. And I hope all of you know at least rice treatment method. It's not the rice that we eat, 
It's an abbreviation of rest, ice, compression, and elevation. First treatment method for bruises, strains, and sprains. All right, that's all I have in this video. I hope you found this video informative. If so, please give a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you haven't yet, please take a moment to subscribe. If you want to support us, please head over to our Patreon page. All right then, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. I'm Samir.